welcome back. Uh, this is just going to be a quick, short little video today. Um, just wanted to give you guys an update, and then if you guys made it through my the end of my last vlog, I told you I needed your help with something, and there was going to be some changes coming up to my channel. So, anyway, today I'll just give you a quick little uh, insight of my day to day was the first day of homeschooling so yay got day one in the books uh woke up this morning with a horrible migraine that i have been fighting all day to get rid of um it's not completely gone but it's a little better uh so yeah that's how we started our first day of homeschool but we did it we had a great time blake had a great time harper really enjoyed scribbling on her little schoolwork that I gave her. So I just want to give you guys a quick health update. Um, if you guys watched uh, my previous vlog a while ago um, when I went to the rheumatologist, I had talked to him and shared with you guys that my hand had been going numb, like the pins and needles, tingly sensation. Uh, it has only gotten worse since then. Uh, my whole arm goes numb now and I've been having a lot of shoulder pain and neck pain and just complete arm uh, weakness. Sometimes the whole right side of my body seems to hurt but you know you just never really know if something is just a autoimmune disease that affects everything and makes you hurt all over or if it's something else. So I actually got a new doctor a new primary care doctor and guys he's been great oh my goodness he's listening to me and he's doing tests and so he sent me in for an x-ray of my neck well come find out my neck is all messed up so uh, yeah i guess the bones in my neck are are too close together their spacing isn't there that it's supposed to be um one of the vertebrae is slipped back a bit and yeah, it's just some other issues that's probably causing all of this and maybe even adding to the extra dizziness that I've been having lately and the migraines. So I'm going in for an EMG like test. Uh, I believe it, it's like on the 18th of this month. It was supposed to be last month, but the doctor was sick, so we had to postpone. I've heard that they're not so much fun. They're painful you're gonna put like needles into me and electrify them and see how my nerves and my muscles react I need to pinpoint like where on my body is causing the issues so uh, anyway yeah so keep me in mind that I've got this test coming up on the 18th and so I asked my doctor okay where are we going after this test what do we do and you know I was really thinking of course he's gonna say we're gonna do physical therapy we'll do physical therapy for a while and guys that is not what he said he said probably do some more imaging I'm guessing like a MRI or something that way and then probably surgery yeah absolutely the last thing I wanted to hear was neck surgery so keep me in your thoughts guys i am actually really nervous about that i really don't want to have next surgery i don't want to have surgery at all but i don't want to have next surgery and i just keep trying to tell myself like lots of people have next surgery and it turns out really good and yeah if it can fix these problems that would be great because my arm being numb and hurting and my neck and actual, you know all of it it's not so much fun so Keep me in your thoughts and I'll keep you guys updated and let you know how my EMG test goes. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the name of my channel, Finding My New Norm. I came up with this name sitting on my bed. I'd been crying. I had just recently been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and I was mourning over the loss of my health. And I'm just sitting on my bed and trying to process all this and you know, like where do I go from here? Uh, I didn't just go into the doctor and they're like, take this and you'll feel better. Like I'm, you know, I have to deal with this. This is a lifelong thing now. And I was just sitting there and it came to me like, I'm finding my new normal. Like 
it's gonna be okay. Like, I can move on. Like, I just have to figure out what my new normal looks like for my life. Like, what I can do on a day-to-day -day basis and, you know, just tailoring things to how I, I can do it now. This was all before the pandemic and everything that has happened when I came up with this and when I named my channel. And now, finding my new normal or finding my new norm or that's the new normal is like, seems to be the 2020 pandemic catchphrase. And yeah, I just don't know how I feel about that. Um, to me, finding my new norm is not anything about that at all it's it's special to me it's special to that moment of being like this is okay you're gonna be okay like let's let's move on let's figure out how to live life now um but i just hear it all the time now you know this is our new norm and so anyway guys i want to change the name of my youtube channel and i would love your help Tell me come up with a name for my new channel. I have a few ideas, guys, but I swear, like, just not that creative when it comes to stuff like this. I don't know why. Um, so please, if you can think of a good name for my channel, drop it in the comments down below. And yeah, let me know what you think it should be. I am gonna be picking one soon. So I have a few that I jotted down. Um, Let's see, the first one is Home with Sherry. The next one is My Spoonie Life. I've got Sherry Spoonie Life and The Spoonie Life of Sherry. <laughs> There's kind of a theme there. Um, but I would really appreciate it if you could think about maybe what I could name my channel. Or, I mean, let me know what do you think of the name of my channel? It's, is it just so overused right now that it's like, mm. No, maybe you should rename it or do you guys think maybe I should keep it? So let me know in the comments down below. Should I keep the name? Should I change the name? Or what, what should I change the name of my channel to? So that's it. Short, sweet. Um, I hope you guys are all doing wonderful and having a great day. And remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And have a great day. I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Down and you stare at your window